Wednesday morning, going to an Autodesk customer advisory board. Yeah, I guess we're special. We're special. <laughs> yes, uh, 261. So what, I explain what it is, or what? I honestly have no idea, just long introductions. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It's it's a chance for Autodesk to like connect with customers like us, and we get to actually share our thoughts and like, man, I wish I wish the software did this. And yes. Why does it still do it like this and things right. like that? So, yeah. Yeah. Autodesk is super good about connecting with the customers and even on the forums and everything like that. But this yes. is like an in-person chance to be able to do that. Yeah. We can rant and rave a little bit too. Yeah. It's yeah. gonna be yeah. fun. It's gonna be fun. I don't think we'll be able to film, but <laughs> that's what we're up to. Yeah. grateful for everybody to come out here. I know you didn't all come out to see me, but I, I wanted everybody to come out and meet each other and say, hey, isn't this a great community? Yeah. All right, so we're just wrapping up a huge Insta Machinist meetup that we did. All our buddies from Instagram, Alfred from AB Tool put it on. Uh, Saunders and I just recorded our podcast live as we're like hustling over here and I interviewed a whole bunch of people for the podcast which was super cool and now I'm in the tooling building. Um, we spent the morning with Autodesk at their CAM advisory board because they picked a bunch of us who, who they want their opinion of as I already talked about. Anyway, um, we're supposed to go back for another two hours of uh, kind of boardroom meeting stuff but I, I told Al, I'm like sorry I, I gotta skip out. I have to see tooling. I have to. I have to experience this entire room, and I have to learn more about inserts and end mills and things like that. I've got two hours before the show closes, so let's get that done. I love my Carve Smart system. Cogsdale, I use a lot of their stuff. Well, one of their stuff, I guess. But I use it a lot. This guy. All right, so we're looking at something that I wanted to learn about, which is OD burnishing, outside burnishing. And he just put this tool in my hand, which is a little diamond round thing, which he says we'll be able to drag across this and like, it, it creates less tool pressure than the than the that kind. You want to do the best way. I think that's, is it's too specific and expensive. Yes. <laughs> it's on the surface, and then you take this out, and then you'd add, if, if you know what the finish is in there, then for every for every 10 RA, you okay. place one tenth material. So if you've got a... I don't measure it. So I'm at the Micro 100 booth. I love using their tools on my lathe. Um, we just did a drop test on this piece of carbide onto, what material is that? Uh, it's steel. just a hot rolled steel. Ready? Yep. Uh, carbide tends to chip pretty easily. And this looks like perfectly, not only hasn't it, it hasn't chipped, but it hasn't like debonded from the brace, right? Correct. That's impressive. I'm at the Kennedy booth right now. Um, you guys saw the video that I put up a couple weeks ago, the one we got at the shop. This must be like from the 70s. Oh yeah, it's super old. But He's a really old tool maker. They're like the, the best quality and they always have been, basically. Old school. Yeah. So it smells like a machine shop. It does smell like machine Thousands shop. Thousands of... And I was, just, I was just teasing them, saying that uh, their product lasts too long so nobody buys any new ones because they keep getting them from their grandpas. Yes. So it's like a blessing and a curse for you guys, right? It is. It is. How do you feel about that? I don't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Buy new Kennedys, because then you can pass it on to your grandkids. How's that? Perfect. <laughs> On my way to the Matsura Cruise right now, I bummed a ride from these two guys, and they have 2,000 CNC machines making medical parts, and we're having the weirdest conversation about like test cadavers to like yeah. 
test out medical bone plates and all this stuff on. It's hilarious. <laughs> so, so we're getting ready to get on the Elliot. Uh, well, for me, it's Elliot Matsuro, but the. Um, the cruise, the yes. Matsura cruise, right? Yes, yes. So you've right. got the U.S. guys, you've got the Canadian guys. That's it. Mr. Matsura, right. young Mr. Matsura, right. Mrs. Matsura. Big boss. Yeah, yes, yes, the big, big boss. boss. Yes. And uh, oh, I'm excited. I, I did this two years ago. It's right. a blast. All right. I want to meet everybody. All right. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. Thank, Great. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. So between that taxi ride, meeting the Matsuras, this is exactly why I'm here. Just to meet and talk and learn. I, I was talking with that guy in the cab about how to scale a business from literally two guys to 5,000 people. I'm like, how do you even do that? It was phenomenal. All right. Oh, what a nice night for a cruise. Hey, there you are again. Oh, yeah. Can't see us, but you can see Phil and I. Enjoying the sunset. There we go. <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. Everybody loves a good view. This guy gets to make that. Are you kidding me? Is it terrifying? Oh, it's absolutely terrifying. The first time I ran this program, like I watched the simulation and stuff, but the first time it started doing all that at rapid speed, holy man. Getting ready for my last day of IMTS, Thursday. I've got one hour, 45 minutes to play in the tooling building, learn about end mills and things like that. We're here with Peyton Dean from X39 Brick Customs. How's it going, guys? Who likes to make custom Lego dudes? Oh, yeah. Uh, we've got a couple of these in the shop. He made these for us before, and he made like a red haired one for Eric with an angry face, which yep. is hilarious. And uh, I love it. Yeah, thank you. Made some for Autodesk, made some for a bunch of other yeah, Instagram. I saw the Fusion yep, one. Yep, yep. Worked with Curtis on those. Super yeah. cool. So yeah. if you guys want custom brick, X39 Brick Customs yep. on Instagram, you yep. got a website, oh, things yeah. like that. Oh yeah. So how's business? It's going good. It's yeah. really actually taken off, you know. So hopefully to quit my full-time machining job and do this full-time. Well, that's not bad either. Yeah, so that's cool. the goal. Yeah. So what are you here shopping for? Work holding, three-axis mill, um, tooling, yep. hopefully speeders for 40 taper machines. Okay. I've seen a couple of those, but so far, it's good. I'm sure a lot of tiny tooling. Yes. So you want to be able to make these? like Injection molds, yeah. Nice. So I already do that with my tag CNC, but I'm right. ready to upgrade. Yep. I'm tired of dealing with it. You know? That's awesome. So I'm looking at Haas, Brothers, Fanning, yep. stuff like that. All so, the good ones. Yep. Awesome. Yeah. Well, best of luck. Yes, thank you. All right. Take one of these for my Nakamura. So I'm here with my friend Sarah from MD Tooling. Hey guys, how's it going? Give us a sales pitch. All right, so we've got uh, live tooling and static tooling here. We've got a whole bunch of um, this turret. Yeah, this is a pretty loaded turret. This is our Mori turret. Um, we've got tooling basically for every live tooling brand out there. Um, we've got our BMT turret over there, an Akuma turret over there, and everything's just fully loaded with some of our best. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of uh, multi-outlet tools. Some of these guys go up to being able to fit eight tools on one side. Let's you absolutely maximize yeah. the, the capability of a machine. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the nice part of that is, that especially if you've got something with like only 12 stations or, or even less. You can make it like 50. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's cool, man. Yeah. 
Okay, so this is our quick change. It's called the MTSK. Um, it's our own design. You may have heard of Capto. We also offer Capto tooling. Um, but what's unique about this is you can change from all the different collet sizes. Uh, let's say your first application, you're utilizing an ER25. And then the next one, you're going to need something larger like this ER40. Um, you just throw in the little spindle locking wrench to help with the load. Drop it right in. It's got this little... Um, is it Capto? This one in particular is our own. Wrench, okay, interesting. But we do have the Capto as okay. well. So there's a hex that it sits in right there. And cool. it's tapered. It's got a couple different contact surfaces for repeatability. You just tighten it up. Okay. Of course, in reality, you'll use a better wrench than a story. <laughs> um, and that's it. And now... For the next application, if you need a shell mill adapter, maybe... So you can leave these all loaded with the yep. tools that you need. Quick change, repeatable, don't even have to touch it right. off. Right, repeatable within two tenths. Love um, it. That's awesome! Yeah. Um, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Let me see. Have you seen these? I just saw what he does, and I think it's awesome. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's killer. Dude, your story is awesome. Love it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. how busy. It's going good. We're here to buy a mill. We're talking to Moss, Tucson, brother. Yep. All that. Yep. So far, so good. Exactly. All right. Exactly. This this is cool. We're at the fifth axis booth. A pneumatic base. Little airline over there. Demo rig. They're doing like what hundreds of thousands of uh yeah of yeah. testing. Probably up to half a million over the summer on that wow. unit just to make sure it was solid. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> you missed your shop already. <laughs> <laughs> So like you were saying, it's dead man, so if there's no air, right. it's, yep. it's stuck. Oh, yep. No air. <laughs> Outro with Titan. How's the show been for you, man? Oh, it's been absolutely crazy. It's like the Super Bowl of CNC machining. It is. You know, you know what's crazy? It's like, I came here two years ago, and everybody knew me from, my, from the TV show, and right. they were like, hey, I saw you on TV. And this time, because the education has they completely you changed, yeah. you know, because it's like, Thank you for what you're doing for the kids, for this industry, for lifting up our workforce. And I just want to tell you guys, this guy right here, he's part of it. Like, because it's all about that awareness, about lifting it up. This guy, John, all these guys, we're all together to lift up our workforce, to make them, to show them what is possible and get them excited about it. Gotta, it's all about those kids, right? You guys know how excited John and I are and a lot of other people. We just love it. Woohoo! Cutting metal, yep. counting chips against the wall. You know what I mean? <laughs> bee right. blasting. This is my home. Boom. All right, brother. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Take Thank care. You. you guys have a good show. Yeah. Boom. And that's it, my friends. IMTS 2018 has come to a close for me. Still goes for a couple days, but I'm done. Uh, I could have spent a whole another day there watching, learning, speaking. Biggest takeaway from this year, other than the total technical of like Swiss Lay, the tooling and things like that, the people. I mean, man, so, so many people. If, you, if you're hanging out with someone you know that knows other people, tell them to introduce you to somebody interesting. That's what I did on the cruise. I was like, hey, Kevin, introduce me to somebody interesting, like entrepreneur, manufacturing, kind of smart guy, not just funny story guy or something like that, but someone really interesting. I met so many people. I've got new relationships that will last for a long time, and I strengthened a lot of good relationships that I've had before, so epic win. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.